Okay, John Barron is with us, but before John uh, says a word, John, don't say a word yet. You just sit back, relax, <laughs> and you listen to this for a second. A 52-yarder. He has a 54-yarder okay. this year. The lefty's kick is up. High enough. Deep enough. Good! What a weapon. What a kicker. Wow. Have a good time on Sundays next year, John. <laughs> Hey, bud, uh, do they call you the savior in the locker room? Like, what do they call you? Uh, in the locker room? Yeah. Uh, I mean, they say a lot of things, a lot of funny things. But, I mean, uh, they're they're all like, oh, we, we're so grateful. You know, they, they love me. It's funny. But it's really cool, you know? There, yeah, there's nothing cooler than knowing that you have a kicker who's going to step into the moment and really make you right more than wrong. And that's all you've done this season so far and throughout your career at San Diego State. Bring us inside of this. What's the preparation look like throughout the week? Because I think it's impressive to see it on Saturdays and Fridays, quite frankly, this season. But but talk to me about that Sunday through Friday that gets you ready to do this on Saturdays. Uh, basically just, you know, uh, on Sunday, just taking it easy. Monday, just, uh, you know, it's back to game week, you know, getting ready. Uh, definitely just focusing on the game and uh, working with Brandon and Turner, getting the snaps and the holds right and making sure everyone's focused up for the weekend. And that's basically it, just preparing like it's a game. Aztecs kicker John Barron with us, Mark and Rich. Another long one to break a tie late in the game over the weekend. And San Diego State escapes. Not escapes, escapes uh, with a win <laughs> over San Diego, uh, over San Jose State. Hey, uh, John, we also know Rocky Long he, he has been, you know, very upfront. He said right after the game, the Spartans outplayed us. I was, I was disappointed in the way we played, but he also said, you know, look, a, a win is a win. W did you guys suffer a bad win? Is that such a thing? Uh, according to Coach Long, no, there's no such thing <laughs> okay. as a bad win, but. Uh, you could tell he was pretty upset after the game, and uh, as we all were in the locker room, no, no one was really uh, pumped up after that win. But, um, yeah, it was definitely a different atmosphere in the locker room compared to when we usually win, <laughs> you know. So you're one of just two kickers in college football this year with four field goals from plus 50 territory. You've made all four of those attempts. I've always been curious about just the mechanics of this. What changes when you go further back in distance? You're closer to uprights, to the untrained eye. It looks pretty similar, but what goes through your head when you have distance like that you're dealing with? Uh, yeah, I guess I could compare it more to golf than anything. It, for me, it's more of like a grip it and rip it approach. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just kind of go out there and, uh, you know, you're from 50 plus and, kind of just give it your best swing, you know. And for me, uh, my most important thing is to give the ball a chance. So uh, no matter where I'm at, if I'm from 50 out, like I, I never want to hit it short. Like I want to be able to get a good chunk of the ball so that it has a chance. And if I miss it wide left or wide right, at least I know that the ball had a chance of going through, you know. John is the uh, Mountain West Special Teams Player of the Week for the fourth time already this year. John, I wonder, you know, even in reference to, the, to Ted's call a moment, uh, a moment ago, hey, have a good time on Sundays next week. It certainly <laughs> looks like the NFL needs you. Are you watching the NFL? What is going on with kicking this year? Uh, I couldn't tell you. I, all I know is that kicking is really a mental challenge, especially in a confidence thing. So, I mean, if you have any slip-ups and confidence or, uh, you know, just – not having the focus on the right, you know, aspects of your kicking, then it could really, it can really hurt you. So, I mean, as far as kicking, it's definitely really mental. It's, and obviously it's physical too, but I think it's more mental than anything else. And if your confidence is low, it's hard to go out there and, you know, I'm going to make this kick. So I think for them, it might be that, but I might be wrong too. I don't know. <laughs> I feel like a kicker is probably someone who speaks to the head coach on, uh, you know, game day more more so than mostly any other position. Sometimes, if you have an uh, an offensive minded head coach, he talks to the quarterback a lot. Defensive minded, yeah. sure, he's going to speak to the middle linebacker or whoever's setting the defense. But 
all coaches talk to the kicker. What are those conversations like on game days between you and Rocky? And what is he like on game days? Well, for me, when I talk to Coach Long, it's usually before um, the coin toss. And he makes sure I know, <laughs> you know, when we go out there to flip the coin, it's, I talk to him then, and then I usually talk to him before I'm about to kick a field goal if it's a long one, and he'll ask me if I can make it or not. And that's usually the only conversation I have with Coach Long, which is kind of how I like it. <laughs> He's, uh, you know, he, he can he can be pretty intimidating at times, especially because he's such a great coach. But for me, it's uh, – the, the less I talk to him, I, that usually means it's a good game. You know? yeah, yeah, yeah. John, John, have you ever told him no? Right. What, like when he comes up, he's like, can you make it? Have you ever been like, no? Not today, boss. I'm not good from anywhere outside of, what, 20? <laughs> I mean, I think I've told him uh, it's a low pos- probability like one time this year. I think I told him that once, and he just kind of, he got pretty pissed off and just turned around. So then after that, I never said no again. <laughs> <laughs> well, so wait, wait a minute. So you told, where was this when you said it was a low probability? Uh, we kind of had like a breeze in our face. It was at home, and we had like a breeze in our face, and I think it was going to be like a 54-yarder. Or something. Okay. And I told him, he asked me if I could make it, and I told him it was going to be low, like a low probability shot, and he just kind of turned around and said, Punt. <laughs> yeah. <How do> you <laughs> punt? <laughs> <laughs> he seemed pretty mad. Oh, gosh. That's amazing. So I, said, John- I was like, all right, I'm never saying that again. Okay, <laughs> right. yeah, well, <laughs> right. I, I, no, but I like the honesty. I mean, you don't want to go out there and then miss it, and then he's going to be like, you told me you could make it. So, I, have you, yeah, exactly. Have you ever missed, uh, at any point in your career, have you ever missed one of those walk-off game-winner deals? Uh, so far, no. I, in my college career, in high school, my first like game winning kick I missed but it was, it got blocked. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, All right. It, and after that it, I I kind of like went really slow into the kick cuz I think I, I was kind of like deer in the headlights situation. And then after that uh, every time I had to go out for a game winner I, I got kind of pissed off because I didn't want to <laughs> do that again. I wanted that moment back. So uh, after that, I I don't think I've missed one yet, but you know. So it's kind God of that, <laughs> that that's where that grip it and rip it mentality came from, and I don't blame you because sometimes you just have to go out there and give it your best shot, and it's been working for you, John. One last one for me. You know, everybody goofs around with this idea like, oh, I could do it from this range or that distance. I watch you, and I, I legitimately look at you, and I say, there's no way I can do what he does. And then as a matter of fact, I don't think we've seen his best. What do you think is your real range? Like, the conditions are good. You're feeling great. How far out do you think you can make one from? Oh, I think I could hit 60 if I had to. Um, It it depends on a lot of things, though, you know, the snap, the hold. But if everything's good and I hit the ball really clean and it's a good day, then I feel like I could get it pretty good. I think I can make 60. I do it in practice, so. (laughs) There you go. John, uh, awesome stuff. It's really great. This is the first time we've been able to have you, and uh, you absolutely deserve it, and you keep this up. Uh, We're going to be doing it again. I think they'd be four and three without you. So, um, you know, great, great stuff, man. Thanks for coming on. No, thank you, guys. I really appreciate it. John Barron, the kicker at San Diego State. That was great stuff.